Dear friends, joining us on Facebook, YouTube, and Zoom, greetings to you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. We do my pleasure to welcome you to the name of this 31 day of life transforming prayer program with the team, Lord, consecrate me for your service. This program is organized by your friends, the Seventh-day Adventist Church in Bayasa State. As you devote your time to listening to our messages and joining us in prayers, the Lord shall consecrate you and set you apart for power and the blessings. Amen. My name is Pastor Divine Samuel. I have with me Pastors Ngozi Loki, Obioma Sunday, and Abilo Jackson. Before we go into prayer, before we go into prayer season, may we consider a message that is captioned, launch into the deep. The Spirit shall direct us in our prayers and increase our faith as we hear the Lord, the word of God briefly. Please sing with me from Seventh Day Adventist Seminar, number 367. Seventh Day Adventist Seminar, number 367. Rescue the perishing. Rescue the perishing, care for the dying. Rescue the perishing, care for the dying. Snatch them in pity from sin and the grave. We for every one lift of the fallen. Tell them of Jesus the mighty to save. Rescue the perishing, care for the dying. Jesus is merciful, Jesus we save. 
Though they are sliding in, still he is waiting, waiting the penitent child to receive. Read with them earnestly, plead with them gently, he will forgive if they only believe. Rescue the perishing, care for the dying, Jesus is merciful, Jesus we save. Rescue the perishing. Duty demands this night for the labor the Lord will provide. Back to the narrow way, patiently win them. Tell the poor ones are a previous died. Rest. You the perishing care for the dying. Jesus is merciful, Jesus we save. Amen. Amen. Our Bible reading tonight is taken from the book of Luke. Open your Bible with me as we go to the book of Luke chapter 5. I will read verses 4 to 6. Luke chapter 5 verses 4 through 6 now when he had left speaking he said unto simon launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a drought and simon answering said unto him master we have toyed all the night and have taken nothing. Nevertheless, at thy word, I will let down the net. And when they had this done, they enclosed a great multitude of fishes and the giant bread. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, you are God in the beginning. You are God today. You are God forever. We adore you. We return all glory to you for your grace in our life, for your mercy in life, for every good thing you've done for us, for your blessings. Father, we say, let your name be highly exalted. Be thou glorified. Be thou praised forever. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Tonight we have come before thee. We pray that you bless us tonight. Let the words we are about to hear tonight be a blessing to someone. Let those who are hearing us, either through Zoom, through Facebook, through YouTube, Lord, we will be wherever your children are stationed tonight and they are hearing us. Lord, I pray that you reach out to that soul, longing to know you. Reach out to that soul, longing for your blessings. Reach out to that soul that is hearing the word of God tonight. We pray that the ministration shall be a blessing to that soul in the name of Jesus Christ. Direct our presentation tonight to thy own glory. We have asked in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. From where we took our Bible reading in the book of Luke, chapter 5, verses 4 to 6. Jesus directed Peter and the other apostles. Jesus directed Peter and the other men to once more launch their nets into the deep waters for a bumper harvest of fishes. Remember that, G that Jesus called Peter and the others who we are fishermen to become fishers of men. The presence of Jesus 
and the obedience of the ones fishermen brought about a bountiful catch. Still in their new calling of soul winning, they were successful soul winners. Dear friends, have you asked why the success of the evangelistic exploit is evident in Acts chapter 2, verse 41? Then those, Acts chapter 2, verse 41 says, then those who gladly receive his word, we are baptized. And that day, about 3,000 souls we are added to them. This bountiful harvest took place in the day of Pentecost. The disciples were filled with the Holy Spirit, and at such, the Spirit partnered with them for success. Therefore, we need the presence and the guidance of the Holy Spirit to do work of soul winning successfully. He is the owner. The Holy Spirit is the owner and the owner of the work and we are co-laborers with the Holy Spirit. The presence of the Holy Spirit will set us apart for a successful evangelism of various types. The hours and the seasons of toiling in vain will give way to exploit and the bumper harvest. Here, the Holy Spirit will break every barrier and limiting factor and spur us to action. These barriers can be physical or spiritually motivated, but they shall be removed. Amen. Amen. The, the, the barriers can exist as lack of fund, unwillingness to evangelism, disunity among brethren, unfavorable weather, domestic attacks, sicknesses, equipment shut down, insecurity etc there are so many hindrances but the holy spirit will break these barriers and we will excel in so winning in our evangelism plan even as we are planning for the harvest of soul during the upcoming festival of baptism the lord shall consecrate us for power Show us the right thing to do and grant us bountiful harvest of soul of souls at last in Jesus' name. Amen. Today we are praying for successes in our personal witnessing and evangelism in our various churches in Bayasa State and beyond. We shall seek for power and guidance and abundance from the Holy Spirit to pull through once more. God's people, child of God, we are praying for power. We need that power from above in order to do exploit for the Lord. We need power beyond human, the divine power which only God can give in order to break through. And that calls for this prayer. Once more, join us as we pray together. Our our first prayer point this day is, is prayer of thanksgiving. We will be praying for thanksgiving, thanking God for everything he has done for us. After the song titled, we are saying thank you, Jesus, which I will rest from here after we sing that song. 
we will use tremendous to thank the Lord for his mercies. And after that, prayers, individual prayers, I will call on Pastor Gosev A. Genavi to conclude the prayers for us. After the individual prayers, I will call on Pastor Gosev A. Genavi to conclude the prayers. Sing with me. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord, for your goodness and your mercies. Oh, thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord, for the life you have given us. Thank you, my God. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord, for the mercy and protection. Oh, thank you, my Lord, we are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. Amen. Amen. I would want us to use three minutes to thank our God. Kneel down and thank God for what he has done for us. Let us pray.
Blessed be the name of the Lord, for he is worthy to be praised and adored. So we lift our holy hands in one accord, singing, Blessed be the name. Blessed be thy name, blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Pastor Ejena Vigosep, please conclude the prayers for us. And Tana, Father in heaven, we are grateful. We are grateful because you have been faithful in our lives. We are grateful because you have led us with your hands of power onto this hour today. Lord, you are the reason we are alive. You are the reason we are alive today, strong and healthy. Father, we bless your name because you are God. We thank you because of all you have done in our lives. We thank you for the blessings with which you have blessed us that we do not even deserve. We thank you, O oh God, for you through the mercies, to your abundant mercies, you have forgiven us all our sins that we have confessed. Father, we are grateful because we cannot thank you enough. Lord, we thank you. For thus far, you have led us up to today, being the nigh of this program. Lord, we return all glory to you. Thank you for the blessings thus far with which you have blessed your children, as many, O oh God, that have been streaming this program. Lord, we thank you for the more blessings with which you have in store for them. Lord, we thank you because your power has been released upon us these few days of this program. Lord, we thank you for the excellent greatness and blessings with which you have blessed us. Lord, we are grateful. We humble ourselves before your throne today with our heart open, saying, thank you. Thank you for your blessings. Thank you for your miracles. Thank you for your favors. Thank you for all you, have do all you have done and all you will continue to do in our lives. Lord, we return all glory to you. Continually lead us even through this program until the end of it. Thank you for the blessings you will continue to shower upon us. We ask in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Pastor Gosev Ejenavi. At this point, for us children, we will pray for forgiveness of sin. We will confess and pray for forgiveness of sin. I would like you to join us as we ask God to forgive us our sins. For the word of God said in the book of 1 John chapter 1, verses 8 and 9. The Bible says, if we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and is just to, for, to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Our God is willing and ready to forgive us and to cleanse us. Therefore, let us go to him in humility. Confess those things that we know we have done against God and his word. We will be praying using three minutes to do that after we sing from Seventh Day Adventist Seminar number 208. 94. And after that, I will call on 
Pastor Kinsley Samson to summarize the prayers as we finish the song. As we finish the prayer, the individual prayers, Pastor Kinsley Samson will summarize for us. SDH number 294. Would you be free from your body of sin? Would you be free from your body of sin? There is power in the blood. Power in the blood. Would you hope for a victory win? Just wonderful power in the blood. There is power, wonder walking power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, wonder walking power in the precious blood of the Lamb. Would you lose me from the passion and pride? Dies far in the blood, far in the blood. Come for a cleansing to Calvary's side. Dies wonderful far in the blood. There is Papa. Wonder walking power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power. Wonder walking power in the precious blood of the Lamb. Would you do service for Jesus, your King? There is power in the blood. There is power in the blood. Would you live daily in his praises to sing? There is wonderful power in the blood. There is power. There is power. Wonder walking power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power. Wonder walking power in the precious blood of the Lamb. Amen. Let us go into prayers and ask God for forgiveness of our sins.
Excellent Jehovah, we thank you so much. We worship you for there is no one like you. We adore you for there is no one to be compared with you. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for being a merciful God, who says in the book of 1 John chapter 1, verse 9, if we confess our sins, that he is just and faithful to forgive us all our sins and to cleanse us of all our unrighteousness. Kneeling before you this evening at this moment are your sons joining through Facebook, your sons joining through Zoom, your sons joining through YouTube, confessing their sins to one after the other. We plead earnestly that in any way we have come short of your glory, in any way we have done that which doesn't bring glory to your name. For the sake of your son Jesus who died on the cross of Calvary. Dear God, the blood of Abel that was poured on the cross of Calvary and forgive us in Jesus name. Amen. Dear God, we present ourselves this evening pleading that you cleanse us from all our unrighteousness. Keep us fit to stand before you. Bless us even this moment. We ask believing that you have forgiven us since you have confessed and asked in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Kinsley, for your prayers. We'll be praying for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit at this moment. We want to ask for that power from above. The power that can make all things possible. We want to depend on the power of the Holy Spirit so that we can be able to achieve great things for our Lord. We'll be singing from SDH 258. Baptize us anew. After the song, I will summarize. Join me as we sing from SJH 258. Baptize us anew. Baptize us anew with power from on high. Baptize us anew with power from on high. With love, or a precious, dear Savior, drawn in. We humbly beseech the Lord Jesus, we pray. With love and the Spirit, baptize us today. On what we cry, on holy, on clean. Oh, wash us and cleanse us from sin's beauty stain. We humbly beseech the dear Jesus, we pray. With love and the Spirit, baptize us today. Oh, heavenly dove, descend from on high. If we got to get in, let it draw in. We humbly beseech. Lord Jesus, we pray with love and the Spirit, baptize us today. 
Foolish the blood voice from heaven it came. Thou art my beloved, well pleased I am. We praise thee, we bless thee, dear Lamb that was slain. We love and adore thee. Amen and amen. Amen. Let's once again kneel and ask for the Holy Spirit. Spirits of the living God, fall afresh to me. Spirits of the living God, fall afresh to me. Break me, melt me, mold me, and fill me. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on me, Holy Spirit, Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on me, Spirit of the living God, 
fall of pressure on me, break me, melt me, mold me, and fill me. Spirit of the living God, fall of pressure on me. Heavenly Father, the King of kings and Lord of lords, the one whom heaven and the earth adore, to you be all glory, majesty, adoration, praises, thanksgiving, now and forevermore. Amen. We have come to you tonight. We have also confessed before you our sins and our iniquities. And we believe that by your grace and for the sake of our Lord Jesus Christ, who died that we might live that you have forgiven our sins. And therefore having forgiven us, we have come to ask for power. We have come to ask for the power of the living God to rebaptize us anew. We plead, O oh God of mercy, send down the power of thy Holy Spirit among us. Lord, pour your spirit in greater measure among your children. Lord in heaven, that our work here on earth will not be done carnally, but your spirit will direct and there will be bountiful results to thy glory. Therefore, Lord, we pray, give us the Holy Spirit in greater measure. Because if there is anything we need at this time in the earth history, when the world have gone so much deep into wickedness, man have chosen to walk against his maker. We need the Holy Spirit. Lord, so many hearts are hardened. We need the Holy Spirit to pierce those hearts of stone, to melt those hearts of stone. Father, so many ground we find our, around us are very hard. We need the outpouring of the Holy Spirit so that this ground will be softened and the seed we are planting, the seed of the gospel, can germinate and grow and bear fruit to thy glory. Lord, we ask that you give us this gift that only you can give. This gift that only heaven can give. Lord, release thy power in greater measure among your people. And let thy power move among us so that the world will see that indeed you are God. And your name will be praised at the end. Let every of your child tonight who are desiring this power, Lord, Receive the power of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. We have prayed with thanksgiving in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 At this time, we'll be praying for projects in Bayasa Mission. We have so many projects. We'll be praying for those projects for God to help us to actualize them. We we'll also be praying for success in our evangelism. By the end of this moon, precisely the 27th, we'll be moving into the communities around us, reaching out to souls with the word of God. Only God can make it to be successful. And we will ask Pastor, Ngozi Loki, do you stream in this and pray for successes in our projects and evangelism? Pastor Ngozi Loki, commit this into God's hand. Let's pray. Our Divine Father in heaven, King of kings and Lord of lords. We thank you, we bless your holy name this hour for your love that has been shared upon mortal 
Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for the gift of one another. Thank you for this privilege of coming to you in prayer. We say be thou exalted. Holy Father, we claim cleansing and forgiveness of our sins by faith, and we believe it is done. Amen. Before you, Lord, we raise by your son mission projects. Oh, Lord, these projects are dear to be completed, to be achieved. Starting from the fencing project that is ongoing. Dear Lord, we pray that may you perfect this project, oh, Lord. Amen. Oh, Father, from above, we ask for finance. Your word says in Haggai today that silver is yours and the gold are yours. Therefore, Father, we pray that from the east, from the west, from the south, from the north, may you release finance for the completion of your projects. Dear Father in heaven, we even bring the project of the officer's residence to you. Tell Lord, we are spending money in renting apartments for your officers. But Lord, we want it to come to an end as you will grant us the grace to build our own officer's residence in the mission headquarters. Therefore, Lord, this is a project that lies before you. We commit into your care once again. Pray, Lord, provide means reasonable for the sake of your work. Father, we know that there is nothing you cannot do. That is why whatever is coming into your hands is safe and secure. Dear Lord, this project is safe and secure in your hands. Even as we pray and believe that it shall be accomplished to your own glory. Even the project of this, that one day of prayer, dear Lord, it shall end successfully. And even as you shall bless your children, and your name shall be glorified. The evangelism we bring to you, O oh Lord, this hour, asking for your directives, asking for your guidance, asking that your Holy Spirit, the Lord, will descend in his fullness upon us to empower us to do this evangelistic work to your own glory. Dear Lord, it is in obedience to your command in Matthew 28, verses 18 through 20. You say we should go and make disciples of all nations. Dear Lord, your children are ready to launch out into the deep, but we cannot launch out on our own. Therefore, we pray, Lord Holy Spirit, our senior partner, the same and partner with us even this time around. Mm -hmm. That we, by your grace, shall make great exploits for you. Our souls shall surrender to you through baptism. Therefore, mm -hmm. Lord, we bring the whole various communities where this evangelism shall be centered into your care. Touch the hearts of the people there. Has there anyone who is having a stony heart, dear Lord, this night, met that stony heart, O oh Lord? and give such individuals heart of flesh. That as they shall hear your word come a few with time, oh, they shall decide for you. Therefore, Amen. you say you will be with us even to the very end of these ages. Therefore, we hold you on this your promise that may you be with us even as we launch out. Just as the apostles of old, Peter and the rest obeyed you, they launched into the deep and there was a great catch. Father, as we shall be launching out into the deep from 27th of this August down to 16th of September, oh, Father, may there be great courage. Thank you, Father Lord in heaven, because we know you have already answered our prayers, because we have prayed in the worthy name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Thank you, Pastor Ngozilokki. In the same way, we will. As Pastor Emmanuel Ahamefula to intercede for individuals, children of God who are listening to the program tonight, Pastor Emmanuel Ahamefula, pray intercessory prayer. Remember the sick, remember those who are passing through one problem or the other. 
In two minutes, please, Pastor Emmanuel Ahamekula. Father in heaven, we bless your name. We adore you, O oh God, because you are God and there is none like you. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for the privilege of prayer. Thank you because you have counted us worthy to be partakers of your blessings today. For this special hour, we pray for all those who have joined us in this prayer. All those who are unable to reach, uh, who are unable to join us, Father, we stretch out our arms, O oh God, asking that you show them mercy. Your children in this time need your help. The time full of trials, tribulations, hardship everywhere. You, O oh God, has assured us abundance even in scarcity. So, Heavenly Father, we ask that you rain abundance for your people. We ask, O oh God, that you cause blessings to fall upon all your children, who, those who are listening to us and joining us, and even those who cannot, who are not joining us at the moment. Father, you have assured us that when there is a casting down, to those who call upon your name, there shall be a lifting up. So we pray, O oh God, that in the midst of all this hardship, O oh God, you will bless your people. And there the sick amongst us, we ask that your, your hands of healing shall be upon them. And you shall grant them healing in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, are there people who are going through financial crisis? You, O oh God, shall open ways for them. You shall help them in their businesses. Are there those who are challenged in one way or the other? Father, you shall intervene and you shall come through for them. We ask, oh God, that the students among us, amongst us, those who need your help in their academics, Heavenly Father, you shall come through for them. Those who have one exam or the other they are writing, you shall come through for them, oh God. Are there the, those amongst us who are seeking for job opportunities? We ask Heavenly Father that before they drop their letter, the application letter, before they submit that CV, Father, you shall go before them and you shall open ways for them. We ask Heavenly Father that you help us in all ramifications of life. We pray that somebody's here, somebody somewhere who has dropped their request, who has joined us in this prayer, shall experience you in a particular way in their life shall experience you in a great way in their life. That Heavenly Father, testimony shall begin to flow. We ask so, Heavenly Father, that because you have called us together, we are not here to waste our time. We have called upon your name, believing that that name, Jesus, that is a strong tower where the righteous run into and are saved, that name will plead on our behalf. Heavenly Father, we ask that you do not pass us by this period, but you come through for us and grant us our heart desires. Be thou exalted because that child of yours who has, seek, who has sought your face, you have granted them their heart desire. Thank you, Heavenly Father, because the brokenhearted you have mended. Thank you, Heavenly Father, because the sick you have restored healing. Thank you, Heavenly Father, because that business that has been going through failure, you shall cause to prosper. Thank you, Heavenly Father, because that family that has been lacking peace and joy, you shall restore harmony. You shall restore peace. You shall restore joy. Thank you because your children have been empowered. Be thou exalted, for we have prayed in the victorious name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Thank you, Pastor Emmanuel and Hamefla. Join me as we sing the first stanza of SJH 499, 70 Adventists Me Now. 499 what a friend we have in jesus what a friend we have in jesus what a friend we have in jesus all our sins and grief to bear what a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pain we bear. Oh, because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. Amen. We will ask Pastor Christian Adendu to say the benediction for us. Pastor Adendu. 
Mighty God, unto you who is able to keep and to save, I commit our followers on Zoom, Facebook, and YouTube platforms. May the showers of blessings continue to fall on you all. You shall Amen. rise and never to fall. Henceforth, may you all be protected, provided for, and be promoted. May your lives Amen. continue to be hidden under the shadows of the Almighty God. Peace be Amen. unto you all, now and forevermore. In the name of Amen. God the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 So shall it be. Thank you, dear friends, for being part of this prayer program. We sincerely appreciate you. Please do well to join us again tomorrow, same time, via same social media platforms. The program, once again, is titled, Lord, consecrate me for your service. It is a 31 day of prayer organized by the Seventh-day Adventist Church in Bayasa State. I remain your friend, Pastor Divine Samuel, and my co-presenter has been Pastor Ngozi Loki. And Sunday, Obioma. Consecrate me now to thy service, Lord. By the power of grace, be mine. Let my soul look up with a steadfast hope. When I will be lost in thine. Thank you.